Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my February favorites. First of all, February is gone. I know that it's one of like the shortest months or at least it feels like for me it's one of the shortest months and it's crazy. We are into March already and if you guys don't know, I am a Pisces so hello to all my Pisces out there. My birthday is February, March 11th. So I'm excited and I'm sad because I'm turning 26 and your girl's feeling a little bit old. So I will be talking about all the products that I was loving for the month of February. So if you guys want to see what those are, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is something that is totally random and um, maybe a little bit awkward, but for me, I ain't got no shame in my game. So I recently tried out the Secrets Clinique Strength Invisible Solid Stress Response Deodorant. Now, the reason why I tried this out is because I've been using Secret for years and years and years, and I've always used, like, the gel type, and I really like it. As gross as that may sound, I sweat, and when I get sweaty, like, I, I mean, I don't get sweaty, but my, my pits, you know, they do sweat, and I mean, everybody sweats, let's be real here, but I just felt so uncomfortable, you know, and sometimes when you sweat, you get a little stinky under here. So I did get the Secret Clinical Strength a few weeks ago, and I've been loving it so much. Um, it is the white bar, which kind of sucks because I feel like it, like, stains your clothes, especially when you're wearing black. But I love it. It keeps me dry all day and it smells really good. And no, this is not a sponsored video. They did not send this to me. I just purchased this myself and I really like it. If you got sweaty pits, <laughs> you're gonna like this. The next thing that I've been loving so much are sunglasses. I'm really into sunglasses right now. And I actually have two pairs of sunglasses that I kind of switch back and forth. Unfortunately, I left my other pair of sunglasses in my car and my boyfriend is working and he has a car so I can't show them to you. But um, they are the ones that I was wearing in my last vlog, like those mirror glasses. And so many of you guys asked me where I got them and I did get them off of Amazon. Um, the second pair of glasses that I have are these. These are also like the, the mirror glasses. So they're really cute. They're really like retro and I don't know they're really unique I really like how they're just they're so cool and I love wearing these with when I'm wearing black or silver or more cool toned colored um outfits because I just feel like it kind of goes together okay so now getting into makeup which is my favorite parts um first of all I wanted to mention this really quick this is the Sasha fix it spray this instantly sets your makeup and this is for all skin types I actually got like a little care package from one of my subscribers if you're watching this thank you I've already thank you but thank you so much for sending me these products but the reason why I love this so much first of all the spray it sprays so nicely you know there's sometimes those sprays that you just like pss, pss, and it like soaks you in freaking water this doesn't do that the spray is very fine if you can see that so it like sprays your skin so nicely it smells almost like flowers like really delicate flowers and I love how it sets my makeup it really keeps it in place it locks it it doesn't move um, I don't get super oily or anything like that and it didn't break me out which is the most important part talking about that I've also been in love with the Sasha Mattifier face primer and obviously this is for oily skin so if you are on the hunt for something that will keep your oil under control I really recommend this I really like how smooth it is. I really like how it sets on the skin and I don't feel like I get too oily throughout the day I still see some oil peeking through just a tad bit. But yeah, I really really like this one as well I got two foundations that I wanted to talk about but first let me just tell you about the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Concealer Plus Foundation um, I did do a whole review on this if you haven't seen it It will be somewhere around the video so you can click it and watch it But I like this one because it is thick and it is heavy but it doesn't feel thick or heavy on the skin. It's medium to full coverage and it sits so well on the skin. It doesn't slide. It doesn't oxidize on my skin. It's just a really good foundation. It's only $10. I really like this foundation and 
I don't know what to say. I just, I really like it. And then the second foundation that I was talking about is the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. And I am in Y405. This is actually the foundation that I'm wearing right now. And as you can see, it matches my skin as far as like my neck, like perfectly. I love this foundation so much. I know that I haven't been using it through the month of February because I recently picked this up last weekend. <sighs> But I'm in love. I really, really love this foundation. Like I said, I've been going back in between this one and this one. But for the most part, I have been using this one since I picked it up. It makes my skin look really nice and like even. It just covers up everything. A little bit of this goes such a long way. I like to use mine with my beauty blender. That's just my personal choice. How I like to use it, I feel like it goes more... Um, as full coverage versus a brush. I don't know. That's just me. If you guys haven't tried it and you're deciding to really try it out, you're really going to like it. I don't think you guys are going to be disappointed with this foundation. It's just become one of my favorites. If you guys have been catching up with my videos, you guys will know that I had some serious breakouts going through my skin and they actually weren't much breakouts. They were kind of like a rash or um, my skin just broke out really weirdly and it was because Last Friday, or almost two weeks ago, I got a glycolic peel with my dermatologist and um, I rushed into it and I tried to exfoliate my skin a couple of days after they had just deeply exfoliated my skin and it just made my skin all sorts of crazy and I was picking at it too. Like I got these little bumps and I was just going crazy, like trying to pick at them and trying to go trying to make them go away, so it just made matters worse. The LA Girl Pro Conceal in Corrective Green has saved my life. I use this to cancel out any redness that I have, which was mostly around here and then around here. This made such a difference because even with the foundation on top, the redness was still peeking through because that's how irritated my skin was. And I know that I shouldn't be wearing makeup, but I needed to film, so don't judge. So I did apply this um, underneath my skin today, and I mean, I don't think my skin looks weird or any different color. It does such a good job at just covering the redness and taking care of whatever you want. If you guys want to see a in-depth video on how to color correct your skin, please let me know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I will gladly do that for you guys. The next Gotcha Covered Concealer in um, Medium Olive is also such an amazing concealer. Since I got it, I've been wearing it every day. That's what I have underneath my eyes today. It's such a strange consistency with this concealer because when you squeeze it onto the back of your hand, it's really hard to get out just because it's so thick. But the moment that you start applying it and blending it into your skin, it like melts. I would say it's definitely full coverage because it covers everything and I just love the color because it matches my skin perfectly. A palette that I've been loving so much is the Tartlet and Bloom palette. I believe this is new um, and again I know that I just recently picked this up but again since I got it I haven't put it down. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. If you guys can see this I am wearing Rebel as a color for my crease and then I applied Funny Girl all over my lids for that like shiny sparkly effect and I believe that is it. Oh yeah and I have a little bit of leader on the outer crease of the corners of my eyes just to give it a little bit more depth but I love this palette so much. I was blown away the first time that I applied it onto my eyes I'm like where have you been all my life? It's so creamy it's so buttery and it smells it smells a little bit like the Too Faced chocolate bar palette it has like that chocolatey scent Oh, you guys, you need this palette. It is so pretty. The colors are so gorgeous. So if you guys do want to see a makeup tutorial using the Tarte Lip Palette, please let me know. And again, I will film it. Promise. These are the new Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. They recently launched, um, I think these two. I picked up Cork, which is a beautiful... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a brown color, but it's more of a... like. It reminds me of like camel color brown if that makes sense it's so pretty i've been wearing this so much this week and every time i wear it i get so many compliments and i get asked what it is so i've been loving this one and then the other one that i've also really been like been liking is chocolate wasted what i love about these liquid lipsticks is that if you apply them and you keep 
If you keep reapplying these lipsticks, they don't crumble on your lips. You don't get that nasty wear on the inside of the, your mouth that most of the liquid lipsticks give you. So I love this formula. I think Dose of Colors is amazing. Again, this is the first time that I've tried Dose of Colors and I'm just like, <sighs> give me more. Two more lipsticks and we will be done. These are also the new um, ColourPop liquid, or not liquid lipsticks, these are the lippy sticks and the lippy pencil that Kathleen Lights created with ColourPop. I'm sure you guys know who she is. She's just the cutest person ever. Um, so I picked up the color Taurus and the lip liner as well. Now really quickly, if you guys have been wanting to get the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in cork, I honestly recommend for you guys to pick this up because I feel like it's an exact dupe. Like I realized that after I ordered them, I'm like, wait a minute. So this is the ColourPop um, lipstick in Taurus and then this is the Dose Up Colors in Cork. So as you can see, they are very, very similar. Only difference is that obviously this is a liquid lipstick. So let me show you guys. So that is the ColourPop lippy stick in Taurus. That is cork, and then that is Taurus as well, the lipstick. So anyway, guys, that is the end of my February favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what products you were loving for the month of February. As always, leave them in the comment section down below. I am going to try and upload a video every day this week just because I feel like I was slacking so much last week, and my skin is feeling so much better, so I definitely want to compensate for loss of time. So that is it. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you guys. Take care. And I'll see you soon. Bye.